how do we come to God, basically? How do we identify this Mary that we wanted to tell him about the so we've done, a, we've done a lot of work looking at the, the patterns and the data behind pollution. And what we found is that the, ultimately the closer an asset is to a water course, the greater the risk of pollution. And the, the sewer that runs along the River Air in Gargrave um, basically puts it within this high risk category. And it means that we want to kind of keep a close eye on it and make sure that it's performing effectively. So um, we analyzed the weather data coming in every day. Uh, and when we kind of hit uh, these predetermined trigger levels, when it's been dry for long enough with wet weather forecast, we know that within that particular area where this weather's been forecast, we're going to want to get out there and do something proactive. And today that's brought us to Gargrave to kind of get out there and make sure that our asset is performing how it needs to be. So we've got a we've got a van that's carrying water and it's going to be it's got a high pressure jetting nozzle which is going to feed that water into the sewer under pressure and travel along. It's going to push any debris out of the way that it uh, that it encounters and, and flush it down the network to to be captured and then removed. Um, once we've done that, we're going to be sticking a camera down there, a push camera, just to kind of make sure that we've removed any any debris that could be building up uh, to make sure that we've done the job properly. Um, this is a proactive technique. We may find that there's nothing there, but our analytical techniques show that when you have sustained periods of dry weather, like we're having, that there is an increased risk of blockage is forming, and the next time it rains, there's an increased risk that that blockage could show itself in the form of an escape from the network. And is it unusual to, to have this sort of model in place? Do other companies have the same kind of analysis they can do? No, as far as I'm aware, we're the first sport company that's made this connection between the patterns of weather data and pollution performance uh, and then translate that through into a change in our operational practices. So although jetting is a well-established technique, doing it in, in this way, as far as I'm aware, is a first. Ultimately, we want to prevent pollution from happening at all. Response is important when the worst does happen, but really we're in the business of trying to prevent any type of environmental impact. We've got over 300 uh, drainage area zones where we're monitoring weather performance and when one of those drainage area zones triggers we're going in and looking at those assets that are close to watercourses that could cause this problem.